Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I want to tell you all the cool things about WordPress 5.9. Now, the biggest headlining feature in this release is the full site editor. As some of you may know, WordPress introduced Gutenberg in version 5.0 as a free alternative to page builders such as Elementor, DV and more. And starting with 5.9, it's trying to replace Elementor Pro, DV and other premium website builders which can customize each and every part of your website such as header, footer and so on. But there's a catch. This update or these site editor features are only applicable on block optimized themes. So this is not going to work on Elementor Hello. And before talking about pros and cons of WordPress 5.9, I'll jump into my computer and show you all the cool things that WordPress 5.9 has. And at the end of this video, we'll discuss its pros, cons and other things that you need to know. If you're new on this channel, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So even before I log into my WordPress website, you can see that I can now pick all the enabled languages on my site right from the login screen, which is really neat. Now I'll just log in and we'll jump into my WordPress website. So once I log into my WordPress website, I just click on appearance and under themes. You can see the current active theme is hello Elementor. Nothing fancy over there, but now there's a brand new theme called 2022. Watch what happens as I activate that particular theme. The appearance tab on the left hand side now has a new option called editor. This is the full site editor that lets you design any part of your website. As I said, this 5.9 editor experience is dependent on your theme. If your theme is not optimized for it, well, you cannot use these options. And on the right hand side, you can pick typography for your entire site. So you can pick a typography for your site, all the installed fonts, the sizes, line height and appearance, right? You can pick different typography options and click on save. That will save basically the typography style. You can go back and you can do the same for links. Now, if you click on this WordPress logo, it shows you this interface. Now we are currently under site, so we're editing the global options. I think in future, they'll be adding more global options. Down below that, there are two new options called templates and template parts. Template parts are basically your headers and footers. So you can create different headers for different pages, the same with footers. And you also have a mini cart. And also there's a new column called added by and that shows what created these templates and it shows 2022 basically the theme itself created few default templates for us or template part for us now when i click on templates again we have two columns the first one is template and then added by column added by shows what created the template itself and you can see there are tons of templates so template parts are basically your headers and footers and on the top right corner you have a new option you can click on add new and you can give template part a name right you can pick whether it's a header a general purpose element such as faq block or something footer or mini cart and you can simply create that but we'll just be editing these options i'll show you that in a bit so we have these template parts let's edit one of them i have this header you can simply click and that will take you to editing the template you can click on the settings cog at the top to bring out all the options for that particular selected block so let's say this is a menu if i click on that it brings contextual options for that particular widget or block right in this case it's a nav menu and you can see there are tons of options that you can play with right you can justify it onto the right onto the center you can stretch them and do so on, right? You can also change the orientation altogether. You can make it a vertical menu, but we'll keep it horizontal for now. You can also display overlay menu or when to display that, right? You also have color option. You can pick pink color for that. For sub menu and overlay text, 
submenu overlay background and so on right so you have tons of options for each of the things that you click and if I click on this link again there are contextual options opened for that and if you don't see any options for that in here you can also click the style button you can click on the colors I'll just click on the link let's change the links color to red and you can see that being reflected in here so at any time you can click the settings cog or the styles tab right so you can always edit or remove any parts of your templates right you can use the list view to navigate between things there's the site logo which is not showing up for some reason so I'll actually remove that I'll click on the dots button that gives more options I'll remove it now within this row I'll just add a new block I'll just click that and I'll just drag in an image widget right after this right I'll just leave it drag it and leave it I'll pick a logo from my media library and I'll actually pick this logo I'll just click select and there you have it right you can also add a caption so something like that you can now remove this as well you can again click in here click on the settings cog so this is basically an image widget that we have in here and once you're done editing the template just click on save it shows you which part of the template that you're saving it's basically the header so just hit save and your changes will be saved again now if you want to go back click on the wordpress logo click on template part and also notice that since we've changed the header there is an options button right after the template you can click on that and you can click on clear customizations and restore the template to its original state provided by the theme which is again a handy option or you can create a new template altogether by clicking on this add new button so this is just basically template part template parts are basically your header footer and the mini card provided by WooCommerce maybe in future there'll be more template parts but these are the things that show up on all the pages now coming back to templates these are just like your template parts except these are related to page post or any other template so what does this mean so this page template means whenever you are creating a new page this design will be applied to that particular page right of course if you have a theme builder or a website builder like elementor pro it's going to override this but if you don't have those and if you just have Gutenberg, whatever you specify in here will be the design of your brand new page. So I'll just click on this page and you can see that there's a header, there's some content area and the footer, right? You can also click on the list view and that basically shows what this whole page template is made up of. And you can see that there's a header in here, there's a group which is basically your whole post content and then there's footer now you can replace header and footer with any of the template parts that you've created I have this footer I'll just click on replace and I don't have any other footer option now let's try that with header so I'll just click on the header in the list view the header is selected now I have a new option called replace click on that and you see I have few other options so I can basically select header dark and it replaces the header with header dark small template part if you have created any other you can basically replace this with that right so basically your page is made up of template parts your header template part and some content and right after that you have your footer template part so once you make all the necessary changes now let's go back to the group and there are some blocks provided by Gutenberg such as post title this is dynamically replaced with the page title right post we featured image for page we clearly do not need a featured image so I can remove featured image for the post or page it's essentially the same page or post is essentially the same there's a button I don't know why I have this so I'll remove the button as well I'll remove the button and now you can keep the list view by clicking on this and keep it handy 
you can click on individual blocks and change various options right you can change from h1 h2 h3 in here or you can fiddle with the contextual options that you have in here right i just clicked on the post title and there are tons of options so you can change the appearance way in which all the text is displayed and you can click on post content block and see there are no such options you can choose to inherit the default layout or if you don't all the content is going to be pushed onto the left hand side of the regular document right remember this is a page template so this design will be applied when a new page is created in gutenberg right but not with any other page builder right now there is a group called post comments so i can in the list view i can actually click on options i can click on insert after and it inserts a empty block right by default it's a paragraph block or you can simply hit the slash button let's change it into a row again there is a plus button click that let's add a title for the row a heading so i'll just click on heading i'll say other posts and i'll hit enter since this is a row i'll just again click on the plus button now there's a new template part or theme part called query loop so i'll just click and drag it just right there query loop lets you pick other posts so query loop basically shows other posts on your website so it's just like related posts right or other posts and it has few other options right once you're done fiddling with the template you can simply hit save now i'll click on this wordpress button i'll go back to dashboard i have elementor pro active so what i'm essentially going to do is click on plugins and it's deactivated so whichever page is created newly it will have that this design so i'll just click on add new and i'll say new page 5.9 i'll just give it a title some lorem ipsum some text and i'll just paste this publish this page the page is live now when we click on view page you can see the page design right just like that our new page template is applied in here again you can go back to appearance click on editor in a similar way you can create template things right so single post basically means you are creating a template so this design will be applied whenever a new post is created you can also create a template for search results page right you can customize how your search results look the same thing with 4 of 4 and there is something called blank blank is essentially it removes the header and footer and it just has the post content right and you can add any things in here and how do you specify which kind of layout the page or post should retain right so in the created post section right this is brand new page you can click on edit and on the right hand side there is something called template so from here you can pick the template and you can see there are ton of templates right so these are the templates that you can customize using gutenberg itself so blank essentially removes your header and footer and it just puts your content front and center so if i pick blank template you also have an option to edit it that will take you to editing the blank template or you can also create a new template and pick it i'll just pick blank i'll update this we'll see how a page looks so it's just the content right thing is going to work in gutenberg right so basically you can create template parts that will become part of your templates so your header and your footer and there are tons of templates that you can create for different things for your archive page you can create a different template for your home page you can design a new template you can also click on add new in here and you can pick different kinds of templates right and again if you want to undo any changes click here click on customizations and that will remove all the changes that you have made to that particular template and by default all the templates are made and you can pick the templates or you can customize the templates right there's also 
a new template for single post no separators you can have a specific design and when you created a new post you can choose that template and that will basically get the design that you specify in here so that is the full site editor in wordpress 5.9 as you saw wordpress 5.9 has few pros and cons the first pro is that it's built right into wordpress meaning there is less bloat right now that you can edit any part of your website without installing any third party plugin if your theme is optimized for block based options and the second thing is that a lot of developers are going to develop extensions since it is a part of wordpress core on the con side it is not fully completed if you look at elementor pro they are way beyond this and they're trying to customize the checkout page of woocommerce they're doing a cool lot things in that domain so in order to compete wordpress needs to be more than just a copy of premium page builder such as elementor pro dv and so on and the second con is theme dependency now while page builders or website builders such as elementor pro along with the free version are almost independent of your themes your whole gutenberg experience is based on your theme if you change your theme your website looks completely different and that is the reason why page builders came into existence in the very first place it's so gutenberg is sort of pseudo page builder which makes depending on your theme even a lot more worse so that is wordpress 5.9 it's good or bad all these features are now being built into wordpress core so let's see where it goes i'll see you in the next video and if you want to learn more about wordpress check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist on this channel and subscribe if you didn't already i'll see you in the next one peace